this model we are going to discuss uh, cross moments. In the earlier models uh, we have started with the basics of probability, then uh, we have discussed the single dimension random variable, then uh, in the third model we discussed the moments and inequalities for a single dimension random variable. Then in the fourth model we discussed the standard distributions both the discrete and the continuous type and in the fifth model uh, we discussed the two and the higher dimensional random variables or random vectors. In that we discussed the joint probability mass function, joint probability density function. In the same model we discussed the independent random variables also. In the sixth model we discussed the functions of several random variables. In that we discussed the distribution of uh, functions of several random variables and we discussed order statistics. Then we discussed uh, conditional distributions and random sum. In this model we are going to discuss uh, cross moments. In this section, we are going to discuss uh, cross moments with the following lectures. In the first lecture, we are going to discuss uh, various uh, moments, the first order moment, second order moment and so on. Then we are going to discuss uh, covariance, uh, variance matrix that is in the first lecture. In the second lecture, we are going to discuss uh, correlation coefficient and uh, linear regression. In the third lecture, we are going to discuss uh, conditional expectation. Let us start with the moments. Before going into the moments of first order, second order and the cross moments for multidimensional random variables. First let me give the definition of a expected value of a function of a random vector that is a definition. So, this definition is going to be useful to compute the various uh, moments of the several random variables. Let x1, x2, and so on, xn be a n dimensional random variables, and let g be a real valued function defined on Rn that means uh, it has a n variables. The expected value of the function g of x1, x2 and so on xn that is denoted by expectation of g of x1, x2 and so on x of n that is defined as 
expectation of g of x 1, x 2 and so on x n that is equal to suppose uh, x 1, x 2, x n or uh, discrete type random variables, then this is going to be summation n summations with respect to x 1 and the second summation is with respect to x 2 and so on, the last summation with respect to x n of g of x 1 and so on x n. The probability of x 1 takes a value 1, x 2 takes a value x 2 and so on, x n takes a value x n when all these random variables are of the discrete type. If uh, all such n random variables are of the continuous type, then it is a uh, integration from minus infinity to infinity and so on. It is a n dimensional integration with the integrand g of uh, x 1 and so on x n multiplied by the joint probability density function of x 1, x 2 and so on with the variable x 1, x 2, x n. Integration is with respect to x 1, x 2 and so on x n when all these random variables are of the continuous type provided provided when the random variables are of the discrete type random variable, the summation in absolute sense it is finite or when the random variables are of the continuous type in absolute sense the integration has to be finite quantity. That means, uh, the provided uh, the right hand side is finite in absolute sense. This is the same thing we have done it for only one dimensional random variable. When x is a random variable, g is a Borel measurable function, g of x is a random variable, one can compute the or one can find the value that is expectation of g of x with the summation if they are if it is a discrete type random variable, integration if it is a continuous type random variable provided uh, the summation or integration is going to be a finite quantity in absolute sense. The same uh, provided condition is extended with the n dimensional random variable and we are finding the expected value of the function of uh, random variables that is g. When we say it is g is a real valued function, we assume that this is going to be a Borel measurable function in that we are finding the expectation of g of x 1, x 2, x n. Again we are not finding the distribution of uh, g of uh, x 1, x 2, x n. We are directly computing the expected value of uh, the random variable g of x 1, x 2, x n. To find the various moments, you can use uh, this definition nicely, so that you can get the various uh, moments. Before we go to the various moments, let us give a one simple example of uh, how to compute uh, expected value of the function g of x1, x2, x. That is a simple example, example 1. Let x comma y comma z be a three dimensional continuous type random variables with the joint probability density function is given by joint probability density function of x y z 
that takes a value a times x y z when x takes a value 0 to 1, y takes a value 0 to 1 and z takes a value 0 to 1. It is not 0 a times x y z in these intervals 0 otherwise. We can verify whether this is going to be a joint probability density function by integration from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, a times 8 x y z dx dy dz that is going to be 1. Therefore, this is a joint probability density function of the random variable x y z. The question is find expectation of 5 x minus 2 y plus z. Find expectation of 5 x minus 2 y plus z. You can apply the previous definition. So, here the g of uh, x 1 comma x 2 x 3 that is same as uh, 5 x minus 2 y plus uh, z. Since all are of the continuous type random variable make the 3 integration minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity that is uh, 5 x minus 2 y plus z times 8 x y z dx dy dz that is going to be the expected value that is expectation of 5 x minus 2 y plus z that is same as since x y z lies between 0 to 1 it is 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 5 x minus 2 y plus z times 8 x y z dx dy dz. You can do the integration and uh, you can get the value that value is uh, 8 divided by 3. Fine. So, this is a very simple example in which we are finding the expectation of function of random vector. Now, we will move into the next definition. We start with the two dimensional random variable. Let x comma y be a two dimensional random variables if the expectation of the expectation of x minus expectation of x the whole power i multiplied by y minus expectation of y the whole power j if this expectation exists that means uh, in absolute sense uh, this expectation value is going to be a finite for non negative integers i and j we say that this value is a central moment of order i comma j for the random variable x comma y and it is written as 
it is denoted by mu suffix i comma j that is expectation of x minus expectation of x the whole power i y minus expectation of y whole power j. After the expectation of this uh, function of x and y exist, we can conclude uh, this value is going to be the central moment of order i comma j for the random variable x comma y that is denoted by mu i comma j. Here i comma j both are uh, non-negative integers. This is a special case of uh, the definition which we have given the expected value of a function of a random vector because this is a very special function that is a one is x minus expectation of x power i multiplied by y minus expectation of y power g. We can have a few results over this definition or remarks or some results. The first result is uh, if you substitute uh, i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 0 or you substitute uh, i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 in the definition either uh, you substitute i is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 or i is equal to 1 j is equal to 0 in both the situation you will get uh, the value is going to be 0. Second result suppose you put the value i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 0 that is nothing but uh, expectation of x minus expectation of x the whole power 2. And this is nothing but variance of the random variable x. <coughs> Similarly, if you do mu of uh, 0 comma 2 that is same as uh, expectation of y minus expectation of y power 2 that is same as variance of y. When you substitute uh, i is equal to some integer positive integer and j is equal to some other positive integer then you will get the central moment of order i comma j for the random variables x and y or the random vector x comma y. As a special case there is a next result when i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 that is nothing but expectation of x minus expectation of x multiplied by y minus expectation of y which has the special name. So, that I am going to make it as the next definition that is definition that is called covariance between x and y. Let x and y be a random variables defined on the same probability space such that such that the second order moment for the random variable x exist and the second order moment for the random variable y also exist. Then we can define the covariance between x and 
the random variable y that is defined as the notation is c o v x comma y that is same as that is mu of 1 comma 1 that is a expectation x minus expectation of x multiplied by y minus expectation of y where expectation of x is the mean of a random variable x expectation of y is the mean of a random variable y first you multiply x minus expectation of x with the y minus expectation of y then you find the expectation so this is a special case of uh, the first definition which we have given expected value of function of random vector In the previous definition it is uh, i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 which has a special name that is called the covariance between these two random variables this has the few important results that I make it as the points one by one either you can compute expectation of x into expectation of x multiplied by y minus expectation of y or if you do the expansion if you expand this that is a x into y x into expectation of y similarly expectation of x into y then expectation of x into expectation of y that is same as the covariance of any two random variable is same as expectation of x into y minus expectation of x into expectation of y. The second result if you find out the covariance of x comma y which is same as the covariance of y comma x that means uh, by interchanging the role of x and y you will get the same value that is provided it exists the covariance of x comma y which is same as the covariance of y comma x third result suppose i compute covariance of x with x itself you substitute uh, you replace uh, y by x in the above definition that means it becomes expectation of x minus expectation of x again x minus expectation of x that is same as expectation of x minus expectation of x the whole square that is same as uh, variance of x the fourth property that is uh, the covariance of uh, a x plus b with the other random variable y that is same as if you expand uh, by using the definition of uh, covariance you will get uh, a times uh, covariance of x comma y and covariance of uh, b with y that is going to be 0 covariance of uh, any constant with one random variable that is going to be 0 therefore uh, covariance of a x plus b when a and b are constant covariance of a x plus b with uh, y when a and b are constant that is same as a times covariance of x comma y The next result, uh, result number 5. Suppose the random variable x and y are uh, independent. Suppose the random variable x and y are uh, independent. We know that. the joint C D F uh, is same as the product of uh, two C D F's 
if they are discrete type random variable then a joint probability mass function is same as the product of probability mass functions if they are uh, continuous type random variable then the joint probability density function is same as product of a probability density functions of x and y so here we are computing uh, the covariance of x comma y that is same as uh, expectation of x into y minus expectation of x into expectation of y when two random variables are independent if you compute the expectation of x into y that is same as suppose uh, i assume that both the random variables are of the continuous type that is nothing but uh, minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity x times y the joint probability density function of x comma y dx dy i am making the assumption both the random variables are of the continuous type similar derivation i can do it for discrete type random variable also since these two random variables are independent i can use this condition that is uh, this is in the cdf and i can use the condition in the joint probability density function therefore this is going to be minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity x times y the marginal uh, distribution or uh, probability density function of x and y <coughs> now the same uh, double integration can be written as minus infinity to infinity e x times f of x dx multiplied by minus infinity to infinity y times probability density function of y with respect to y this is because of uh, the joint probability density function can be written as the product of uh, probability density functions of x and y therefore i can keep uh, x f of x together similarly y and f of y together therefore the integration becomes product of uh, this two we know that uh, the first integration is uh, expectation of x and the second integration is expectation of y that means uh, we have given the derivation for uh, considering both the random variables are of the continuous type even if you do both the random variables are of the discrete type you will get the same conclusion that is expectation of x into y that is same as expectation of x into expectation of y therefore if two random variables are independent then the covariance between uh, the random variables x and y that is same as expectation of x y minus expectation of x into expectation of y but just now we got the result expectation of x y is same as expectation of x into expectation of y therefore the covariance becomes zero this is the fifth result that means uh, if two random variables are independent the covariance is going to be zero converse that is uh, if the covariance is uh, covariance of uh, two random variables x comma y zero that does not imply two random variables are independent that means uh, converse uh, is not the covariance uh, that is covariance between any two random variable zero that does not imply the random variable x and y are uh, independent random variables does not imply whereas uh, x and y are independent random variables then covariance of uh, random variable x comma y that is going to be zero 